of it surprising is that even amino acids have to be put together to for the organism to use. Amino acids are going to be made into proteins, right? So there are, there's a pathway for getting these, um, I'll call them macromolecules. At any rate, methionine. So that's number one. So that's the end of the pathway, methionine. And so what's the next thing in the pathway? See that number two? What's new? Homocysteine. So I already have methionine, so what's new is this guy right here. And so that'd be homocysteine. So What's new? What's the, what's the next compound that goes in the pathway? It's the last one, cysteine. Cysteine. How do you say that? Cysteine. I probably didn't spell it all the way out, but it's on that sheet that you should have printed out on that second page. How we get to at any rate, it's cysteine. Cause that's some of the compound that's new. So let's say cysteine. And now we have two fours. That means the pathway is branched. It's branched. So it's going to be something like this. And so one of the branches, what's new in this number four? Um, can you tell? What's new in number four is cysteine. Cysteine, okay. And what's the new one and the other one? Homocerine. Uh, Homocerine. So what this pathway is saying, that cysteine and homocerine are put together to make this compound. So what's missing here are enzymes that actually convert, the, convert this to this. The pathway, there's an enzyme that converts this to this. There's an enzyme that converts this to this. So we don't know what the name of that enzyme is. I mean, we know, but uh, we can put the mutant that's missing that has a mutation for that enzyme. So what mutant would this be based on the table? It can only grow if I give it methionine. What mutant would that be? Number one. Mutant number one. In other words, if I give me number one, homocerine, no growth. Cysteine, no growth. It doesn't grow, so it's mutant for the end product. It can't, you can give it all of this, and does it, it doesn't grow. Does it have a name other than number one? That's all the table tells us. So that's all I can say, is that that's mutant number one. That mutant is missing the enzyme that converts this to this. Okay? So, if I give a mutant number one, uh, this compound, it grows. If I give it that compound, it doesn't have the enzyme to go for. You follow? So, if I give it this compound, it can't grow. If I give it this compound, it can't grow. I can give it all in. It can't grow because it's missing the enzyme here. So, it's mutant for the enzyme that converts homocerine to methionine. So, let's move to the next one. What would be the mutant that goes here? One and two? One and two? No. I'm sorry, two. It would be two. It has to be two. Let's see how that works. Number two. It's missing that enzyme. If I give number two this, will it grow? Let's see. Mutant number two. If I give it cystothiony. Or is it three? I was looking at these numbers, but... If I give mutant number two, cystothionine, will it grow? Number two is number two or number three? You're number three. That is, wait a minute, let's see. Three. This is two, right, mutant, I'm sorry, you're right. Number three. It's number two in the pathway, but that's number, right. that's that mutant. <laughs> 
I'll just test and y'all see if you're paying attention. <laughs> no, I gave you the wrong answer. <laughs> <laughs> if I give mutant number three cystathionine, will it grow? Yes, it'll grow into homo cyst. Let's look at mutant number three. Cystathionine, no growth. Why won't it grow if I give but, but, it cystathionine? Because it doesn't have the enzyme to convert cystathionine to homocerine. Will it grow if I give it homocerine? Because I'm past the mutation. So it can grow here and it can grow here. It's mutant for this mutation. So if I give it all of that, it can't get past it. You follow? You understand? Does that make sense? To me, that sounds so logical. <laughs> If this, mute, if this num, mutant number three cannot change cystathionine to homo, uh, homocysteine, then if I give it homocysteine, it cannot grow because it doesn't have the enzyme. If I give mutant number one homocysteine, will it grow? It can't because it doesn't have the enzyme to convert this to this. If I give mutant number one, cystathionine, will it grow? No, because if it can go here to here, it still can't go from here to here. You follow, does that make sense? Genetics is so tough, isn't it? If I give mutant number one, that compound, will it grow? Because the sequence of events says that these two have to be put together here. This has to go to here. Mutant 1 says, I can't go any further. So I have to give it methionine. And mutant number 3 is mutant here. So if I give it all those compounds, it can't grow. What about mutant number uh, 2? Wouldn't you need 4 and 2? Say again. 4N2 to, to, to make it turn into cysta. Let's mutate this mutant. Cystathionine. If I give it methionine, it should grow. Does that fit? If the mutation, if this is number two, that means that all of these, if I give it any of those, it will grow. Because the mutation is, I can't go past that spot. If it can't go past that spot, then it can't make cystathionine. But if I give it cystathionine, just put it in the media, then it can grow. But if I don't give it, if I give it cystine or homocerine, it will not grow. And that table should reflect that. So mutant number two, if I, it's really mutant for the enzyme that converts these two to this. And that's what the table says. But don't you also need five to go with cysteine to make, and then you would need four on homo serene, wouldn't you? You're talking about, let's look at mutant number two. Mutant number two, if I give it homo serene, will it grow? The table says no, because homo serene is behind the mutation. That means that I've got to have the gene to convert it to cystathionine. I guess I'm speaking German. Uh, you, yes, go ahead. Um, can you add just one of those, or do you have to add all three to the one? I can add any one. So this one is mutant for one gene, but if I give it this, it's normal for the rest of the genes. It's only mutant for this gene to convert these two to this. But if I give it this, it's past the mutation. If I give it this, it will grow. Obviously, if I give it methionine, it will grow. But it needs, it's the block is here for mutant number two. If I, if I give anything behind here, it cannot make, in other words, mutant number two if it makes cystathionine, it can go all the way. So if you give it homocysteine, would it need the enzyme? Homocysteine. Homocysteine. 